Hello and welcome to the technical part of this video series using One Identity Manager and containerization, that means Docker in One Identity Manager. You hopefully followed carefully the conversation between Alessandra Festa and Alex Benoldo just talking about why we use containerization in Identity Manager. In the next couple of videos, we are interested to show you how to do that. And first time we do something you have never seen on the One Identity YouTube channel before. Please remember the One Identity YouTube channel, it's a channel where we show One Identity software products and explain how to use them. In this specific video series, first time, we show you as well how to use and install Docker. The reason for that is that there are many people outside who are container experts and they will not use that. But on the other hand side, there are some other people outside who are interested in using Docker, but they have to move to the Docker page first and to learn how Docker itself can be installed or will work. And then they can use our software products. We decided that for this video series, it makes sense just to show you the first steps with Docker as well on different platforms so that you, after have seen that, directly can start with your One Identity Manager Docker container. To do so, the video series is structured as follows. In the first video that you already have seen, there is a conversation where we talk about why we use Docker. In the second video, this is the video here, I'm talking about how you can use this video series and what's to do. In the third, fourth and fifth video, we just show you how to install Docker on different platforms. We show that for a Linux server, we show that for a Windows 10 workstation, and we show that as well for Windows 2016 server. These three videos, that means three, four and five, could be completely dropped from any expert in containerization. That means if you are a Docker expert, if you know Docker best, then please drop these videos. They will not show you anything new. If you're just a beginner or interested in the Docker technology and you want to see that first time, then it might be helpful to watch these videos to figure out how to prepare your system so that you can deal with Docker containers as well. After seeing that, you can directly store it with One Identity Manager and Docker. Therefore, you need a One Identity Manager installation. This is something you will learn in other trainings or in other videos here on that channel. Once the installation is up and running, you can start to deal with Docker containers for One Identity Manager. This is, at present, the One Identity Manager job service. This is then the next video, number six. Then we will talk about the application server in a Docker container, which is video number seven. And in video number eight, we will then talk about how to use the standard web portal or how to move the standard web portal into a Docker container. Once all of that is seen in the very last video, which is number nine, you can learn to troubleshoot these Docker containers. And hopefully, if you follow all the videos to the end, you will then be a small expert for using our containers with Docker and One Identity Manager. With that, I wish you now the maximum amount of fun and please follow our instructions. We talked about where we can get help and beside of that, uh, I like to show you the normal way to get information about Docker and how to do things. As you can see here, I'm on the Docker main site. This is www.docker.com and on docker.com you can reach nearly everything what you need. Especially if you need help for Docker installation or how to use Docker, then here underneath of support, you will find the documentation in the same way than support. You will as well find a site for training and certification that will help you then with your Docker business. At the end, you can as well watch uh, one of these three videos I was mentioning before, which just show you how to install Docker in a rough way so that you can directly start with our containers. Additionally to all of this video information, which is pretty helpful but not complete, you will find a lot of more things, for example, here on the training page of Docker or, and that is my main source to find things on the documentation docker.com, that means docs.com 
docker.com. It's the site where you can find everything, how to install things. I'm here on the page, for example, for the Docker Community Edition, Docker CE. Uh, I'm looking for the installation on an Ubuntu server, which is a Linux server. You can see that here. And then you will find a lot of information, which prerequisites you need and what is to install and how to get the right repository and all of that stuff until you have installed your Docker on a Linux server. Once all of that is done, then you can use the next page, which is the Docker Hub. On the Docker Hub, you will find the images. You can see here the Docker Hub. There is one identity. If you search for that, you will get the containers. And these container images here are the stuff you can then use from the Docker Hub, directly download them and install them. As you can see, there are as well containers for other products. For example, there is the One Identity Safeguard PowerShell container. This is clear. It's a container you can use to deal with PowerShell commands. And um, we want to talk about the One Identity Manager containers, which is, for example, here the web container that contains the standard web portal. There is one for the job service. There is an installer container you typically not use that will be used from other containers. And there is an application server container, which then shows you the application server. Please remember in Identity Manager, since version 8.0.1, we support Docker containers and we provide Docker containers on the Docker Hub. If you are interested to install one of these containers, you can easily click one of these from the hub, like here. And then you will find a site where you will find a lot of instructions, what's to configure and how to call this container and download it from the Docker Hub so that it gets then up and running on your machine. Yeah, for different operating systems, it's everything described for Windows, for example, here different parameters. And so on the parameters are described for Linux, it looks a little bit different. All it's there, you have only to read it and then you can copy and paste the, the most of these commands and can directly start to work with them. This all together should give you a good starting point so that you then can use that. But please remember, if you want to do that professionally, that means you want to do it in a productive environment and uh, to deal and to help or support your productive business, then you should like in virtualization, have your own Docker team, that means containerization team that knows best how to deal with these containerization technology. And then you can use our containers or use our containers as a starting point for your containers. <music>